so. Let's try my hand and open up the slides. All right. The daily law. We want to extend your knowledge further and further, leading to wide-ranging connections. Ask yourself if you're following this law. Here we go. So, got a little example here. Who can help me match these up? Which description should I drag the let keyword to? The bottom one. This one? Mm -hmm. I think it's the... This one? Oh. No. I just... Sight. The equal sign. The equal sign goes to the bottom one. Equals. Assignment operator assigns a value to a variable. Y'all can hear that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is kind of talking about accessibility, right? So anyone who has a disability, can play, they can actually play this and they can hear. Oh, okay. This has a little um, audio button here, so you can actually hear what it says. All right. All right, so you've got these other two. And the first one is uh, is variables defined. I think that's that's cons. That should be cons, but I don't know why that's not cons. Let variables defined with defined by this so keyword cannot be declared. said yesterday let and const are quite similar. They're actually uh, new keywords. Um, so you would, if you look up let, the let keyword and the const keyword are very similar. Right? Variables with the keyword of let cannot be redeclared. They must be declared before use. Uh, they also have block script. And variables defined with const cannot be redeclared. They cannot be resigned. They have block scope. All right, so this leaves us with this last one here, right? So, Yolanda, can you mute your mic, please? Yes. Yeah, yep. So we've we've matched this now, right? And now we have our answer, which shows us that we have a correct match. Good job. So conceptually, what this does is it, it teaches us what the definitions are, right? So if you think the value of the variable can change. You want to use this keyword var. Can we set this back to what it was before? Um, okay, nice. The warm up punch says. Good job, everyone. All right, so who can give me a recap of what we covered yesterday? Covered a lot. Mm hmm. Um. So we started out with JavaScript, right? And one of the questions that we asked was, what is JavaScript? And JavaScript is a scripting language that allows you to implement complex features on web pages. And we said, how is it used, right? There are three layers when we're making a static page. We have our HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And they work together to introduce a page that can be displayed to the user, right? What can we do with it? What was the main word that we kept on reiterating about JavaScript. What does it provide in our application that HTML just by itself couldn't provide? We kind of get it with CSS, but we can't get user input. That makes it dynamic. It makes it dynamic, right? And then how can we apply JavaScript? The internal, external, is what you're talking about. So that's how we include JavaScript in page. The, the question is, what can we, uh, how can we apply JavaScript? This, this was the main thing that was different from uh, HTML. We, we have this sort of thing in, in CSS, right? 
we can use it to store variable, we can use it to store values inside variables, and we can operate on data in a page. So we can take input from a user, and we can actually use it to operate on a page, like we saw with the adding a div example, right? And then, good point. The next thing we covered was how can it be implemented? And we have the internal, and we have external. So which is the preferred method for including JavaScript? Mm-hmm. Yep. So then we uh, kept going here. So what was the next uh, set of content that we went through? Uh, was, was it methods? We, we, went through our, we went through our keywords. Methods. We went through const, the const keyword, uh, let, and var. So what are the JavaScript keywords, right? There's a block of those keywords, and I encourage you to use the dev flashcard application to keep filling that up and adding definitions and terms so that you can take 30 minutes a day and review that. That way, when you know, you're looking to write your program, you can just write it from scratch. Uh, yeah. And we saw an example of using keywords and yeah, there are four ways to declare a JavaScript variable, right? We said there's using var, using let, using const, and then the other way? Nothing. <laughs> yeah. All right, and then we got into methods. So Edwin, you want to tell us a little bit about methods? What are JavaScript methods? Uh, so a uh, JavaScript method is is uh, essentially it's an action. It's it's a function. Uh, well, that is inside of an object, mm -hmm. and that and that object is called a method. Now that method produces or well, has an action. So yep. it can be like um, it can be. Uh, like I guess run or uh, it can be like sleep like we talked about sleep yesterday mm -hmm. um, but generally uh, it just it, it produces some sort of uh, it has some sort of output it takes an input and then it produces an output yeah what was the object that we made yesterday Come on now, we had fun making it, so. Uh, the fun one. <laughs> Everyone contributed a little bit of something, right? It was a uh, Schrodinger's cat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Schrodinger's cat. It was eating. Yeah, nice. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, to get into uh, a function, can someone tell me what a function is in JavaScript, actually? It's an array, a string. A function oh. isn't an array, it's an object. And it is a, it is a runnable method, right? A function has a definition, it uses the keyword function, and it has a name. And so that method runs a command, right? We have function parameters, and those parameters are the names listed in the function definition. And then we have values, right? Those values within the function are the parameters that are being passed into it. There's two different ways that we can look at this. The difference between pass by ref